exposed, it could even make her lose New Hampshire. Reports are in and it appears that Donald Trump still beat Hillary Clinton by a long shot even with a rigged election. New Hampshire has been found guilty of voter fraud, which is not surprising at all considering that they have been using this tactic for quite some time now. On November 8, 2016 more than 6,500 people registered to vote using out-of-state licenses. They did not obtain an in-state license nor had they registered a motor vehicle. This video exposes the fraudulence, take a look. Of those who were caught voting with out-of-state licenses, only 3.3% have registered their vehicle in the state of New Hampshire and only 15% have been issued new licenses. Not very reassuring. Hillary is a disgrace to America. Do you think this means she has never won the popular vote either? Irma was such a beast, it has created a very rare phenomenon in the Bahamas. That photo that you see is what is left of Long Island, Bahamas after Hurricane Irma ravaged through the area late last week. A Twitter user who goes by the name of it Katie underscore K posted this message to her page, I am in disbelief right now. This is Long Island, Bahamas and the ocean water is missing. That's as far as they see hash Hurricane Irma. Thankfully another user uploaded a video shortly after that showed the water had returned back to Long Island, Bahamas, although a little murky. Because Hurricane Irma had very low pressure, she withdrew the water upward. The community was worried that there could be a tsunami accompanied with the return of the water, however, no such thing occurred and the shoreline returned back to normal soon after it left. Meteorologist Angela Fritz explained that a hurricane bulge may have caused the disappearance of Long Island's ocean water. Inhabitants have never seen this before. Does it look like what God did to the Red Sea? Dennis Rodman may be our best chance to straighten things out between North Korea and USA. Dennis Rodman seems to be our only hope when it comes to understanding the supreme leader of North Korea. Rodman describes Kim Jong-un as his best friend saying that they do not discuss politics, the former basketball star is simply an ambassador of sports. Kim Jong-un reportedly loves watching and playing the game of basketball, and apparently he is quite good at it. According to Fox News, Rodman has known Kim Young un since 2013, and although the rest of the world sees him a certain way, the retired basketball player says he's a good kid. Rodman is also friends with our president Donald Trump. He appeared on Celebrity Apprentice, but was quickly eliminated when he spelled Melania's name wrong during an advertising challenge. This is something no one could have anticipated. Do you think the Rodman approach will do anything? Jeff Flake and four other Rhino senators are targeted for primary challenge by Trump's admin. President Trump has made many requests to Rhino senators who have done nothing to help him. According to Politico, the president now has a list of five Republican senators he plans to target for principal concerns. This group includes Senators Dean Heller of Nevada, Jeff Flake of Arizona, Luther Strange of Alabama, Roger Wicker of Mississippi, and Bob Corker of Tennessee. Steve Bannon, White House chief strategist, recently did an interview with CNN and mentioned that the Republican establishment is trying to nullify the 2016 election. Bannon also stated that Speaker of the House Paul Ryan and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell do not want Donald Trump's populist, economic nationalist agenda to be implemented. It's very obvious. He called out specific Republican politicians that have not nor will help Trump's administration unless they're put on notice. Bannon reassured everyone that they're going to be held accountable if they do not support the President of the United States. Right now there's no accountability. They do not support the President's program. It's an open secret on Capitol Hill. Everybody in this city knows it. Let's drain the swamp. Should these rhinos be voted out?
When J.J. Watt came in, watch how Texans respond to his $31 million fundraising for Harvey's victims. Flood-ravaged Texas is just starting to get back on its feet after being slammed by Hurricane Harvey. Many people died in this tragic storm and even more have been misplaced from their homes, jobs, and even their families due to the destruction. It is inspiring how many people are coming forward to help aid Texas. J.J. Watt of the Houston Texans is one of those people. He has raised more than $31 million for his city. Watt even handed out food and water to Hurricane Harvey victims. When Texan, J.J. Watt, took the field during the game in Houston on Sunday, the crowd went absolutely wild. This is touching. Can we get 5,000 likes for J.J. Watt? Christians assemble on Miami Beach and pray the hurricane away, leftists are furious with hurricane's behavior. Marie Constant posted a video on her Facebook page of a group gathered in prayer on a beach in Florida, along with a storm track image of Hurricane Irma. The image and the video were both removed from Facebook. This group of devotees believe that prayer helped ease the strength of Hurricane Irma by moving it away from its original path of destruction. The comments in the original post were a mixed bag as some believed in the group's influence over Irma and others blamed it on pressure from a cold front to the north of the hurricane. Apparently faith can move a lot more than just mountains, however, there are still so many animals, houses, and lives at risk. Do you think those leftists will understand someday? When liberals learn Divga sometimes calls her father daddy, they all went crazy and slandered Trump. During a rally in North Dakota on Wednesday, our president invited his daughter Iga up on the stage to speak to the crowd of supporters. While on stage, Trump let everyone know that his daughter had asked if she could go with him to North Dakota. She actually said, Daddy, can I go with you? And I said, Yes, you can, admitting that he likes that. Iga delivered this short, but sweet message to the crowd of Trump supporters. Hi North Dakota. We love this state, so it's always a pleasure to be back here. You treated us very, very well in November and have continued to. So we like sharing the love back. Thank you. Does Ivka have the right to call her dad whatever she wants? Chicago will be a Trump-free zone announced Mayor Ram in response to DACA's rescinding. On Tuesday, following the Trump administration's decision to end DACA, deferred action for childhood arrivals, Mayor Ram Emanuel made his city of Chicago a Trump-free zone. Mayor Emanuel told students, to all the dreamers that are here in this room, and in the city of Chicago, you are welcomed in the city of Chicago. This is your home and you have nothing to worry about. Emanuel then directed this statement to the president. Although Mayor Emanuel does not have the authority to keep President Trump out of Chicago, he has mentioned that he will not comply with any DACA-related immigration laws when the issue arises in six months. Chicago has been named a sanctuary city. The mayor's arrogance is beyond compare. Should we let them try to survive on their own? Sarah Sanders dares to go on The View but finally gets applauded by all Trump haters. Sarah Huckabee Sanders, the White House press secretary, must have known what she was in for when she appeared on Wednesday's episode of The View. Host, Joy Behar, did not waste any time as she jumped right in asserting that 95% of what our president says is a lie. Some of the other ladies agreed, except Sanders who stated, the problem with that, Joy. That is, you are doing exactly what you're talking about and pushing a false narrative. 95% of what the president says is not a lie. Those that agreed with Joy told the White House press secretary, I feel sorry for you. I think that's one of the dangers that we have right now is we are pushing so many false narratives every day. We are creating false perceptions about the president and, frankly, inhibiting his ability to succeed. 
Sarah continued, I think America should want him to succeed. He is the president whether they voted for him or not. Sanders finally received a round of applause from the crowd after this statement. They hit her really hard, but she spoke the truth anyway. Should we all applaud Sarah for how she handled the situation?